Good evening, everyone. It's Reverend Charles Ulick from Grace Episcopal Church, and I'm here in my home. I hope you are too, wherever you might be. We're celebrating Compline Night Prayer in the Episcopal tradition. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Let us put ourselves in God's holy presence. We are on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 127. <clears throat> the Almighty has, the, the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a peaceful end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is a portion of Psalm 89, found on page 715 in your Book of Common Prayer. Page 715, Psalm 89. We'll be reading verses 19 through 29. Please join me in reciting this psalm together or in the silence of your own meditation and prayer. You spoke once in a vision and said to your faithful people, I have set the crown upon a warrior, and I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. My hand will hold him fast, and my arm will make him strong. No enemy shall deceive him, nor any wicked man bring him down. I will crush his foes before him. I will strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and love shall be with him, and he shall be victorious through my name. I shall make his dominion extend from the great sea to the river. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, and my rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn and higher than the kings of the earth. I will keep my love for him forever, and my covenant will stand firm for him. I will establish his line forever and his throne as the days of heaven. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hi, Noah, my Fisca dog. <laughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He distracts me. I'm so sorry. We continue our scriptures with a passage from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. On that day... When evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him and, they, and th with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great, gall, a, gale, excuse me, a great gale arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swept. And when he... He was at the stern, asleep in the cushions, and they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, you do not care, we are perishing? He woke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to, him, said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, 
Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, this passage today, as we listen to this passage, you know, we many of us have been going through so much. And for some of you, probably yourselves, even in your own families, you probably have uh, been dealing with a lot of stress and things that are going on in our ups and downs in our world. Priests and clergy are no different. People down, the neighbor down the street is no different. We all are in this pandemic together, but more importantly is that God will see us through this, just as Jesus saw his disciples through that terrible storm. He will help us be still and know that he is God. God is with us in all these things, and even when we feel we are the most alone, Jesus is there to help comfort us. Let us be comforted tonight as we go to sleep. Let us know that Jesus is with us and he is God. Amen. We continue our prayers now. If you join me and turn to page 132, page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And together, let us pray the traditional Lord's Prayer on the left column. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. This is our colic prayer for this evening. On page 134, Colic Prayer for Saturdays. We give you thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal mystery. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. And together now, let us offer our prayers as people of God, Prayers of the People, Form 5, found on page 389, page 389, Prayers of the People, Form 5. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy for the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with your truth and love and be found without fault at the day of your coming. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Terry, our bishop, and your bishop or your superior, wherever you may be, we pray for all bishops and the other ministers and for all the holy people of God. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease, and that all may be one as you and the Father are one. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
for those in positions of public trust, especially our President Joseph Biden, for our governor, and for all our legislature, legis legislators and those elected to the courts, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, for refugees, prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. We pray, O God, for those who are ill this day, and for those who we respect and miss, and we pray for our doctors and nurses, especially the 2,400 people who had contracted the COVID-19 virus this day. We pray for the 24 people in our county that contracted the virus. We ask you, Lord, to be with all those who are sick or ill or dying this day. I'd like to pray especially for those who we've mentioned by name and people have asked me to pray for. I pray for uh, Reverend Robert Hill, who had eye surgery, for Lori Copeland, who will be having a procedure in a few weeks. We pray for Ron Hughes as he recovers from surgery and for his wife, Lisa. We pray for George Chalk, for Father Nick Yeager, for my niece, Tracy, and her husband, Chad Parr, as they recover from different surgeries at this time. I pray for my sister, Mary Jo Hartung, as she recovers from her surgery, for Mother Dorothy Hartzog, and that she may have uh, celebrated good results with her tests. I pray for all those who are struggling and, and working with their cancer. I pray for Jim Zelmer. I pray for Mother Libby Wade, for Tommy and Patty, and for my sister-in-law, Sherry Ulick, whose cancer came back in, in the bone, and pray for her as she's going through chemotherapy and all these people. We pray, God, for all those who are ill and ask you to be with those who are struggling with COVID-19 right now and are isolated or, or quarantined, waiting test results. We pray, oh God, for the end of this pandemic and for all those who are ill. We pray to you, oh Lord, Lord, have mercy. For the, this congregation of Grace Episcopal Church, for those present in our church, and for those who are absent, especially those who we've missed very much, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all that we do. We thank you, Lord, especially for the gift of birthdays and wedding anniversaries in our congregation and whoever you might be celebrating as well, for those people who are dear to us. I pray, Lord, for Jim Patton, Hannah Minton, Mother, uh, for Brenda Hollis, uh, we pray as well for uh, Mother Dorothy Hartzog, who celebrated her birthday this week from St. Peter's of the Lake. And for those of you who are celebrating a birthday or wedding anniversary, we celebrate and give thanks. We pray for those who are celebrating an engagement today. And I'd also like to uh, say a little shout out. Congratulations to um, Bethany and Todd Jones, who had another baby, a little girl. Uh, and celebrate with them, and for Cindy and Bo Jones, uh, grandparents again, we thank you, Lord, for them, and for uh, their little uh, little bundle of joy. I pray for them and give thanks for their uh, new arrival in their family. We pray, O oh God, we we pray to you, O oh Lord, Lord, have mercy, and for all we commend to themselves through our prayers. For our families and friends, our neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy and peace and health. We thank you, Lord, for all those who are special and dear to us. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the communion of the church, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in the place where there is no more pain or grief, but life eternal. I'd like to pray for Effie Lewis, who we laid to rest this week, and for Susan Smith, her dear friend and parishioner of ours. I pray for Buddy, her nephew, 
and for all of her family, both near and far, and our friends at the, the lakes, especially where she lived last. We give thanks, O oh God, for all of the assisted living and nursing home facilities, and for all the staff who are missing Effie at this time, and for all of our dear loved ones that we miss at this time. We pause for a moment and remember and give thanks. To, we pray to you, O oh Lord, Rejoicing in the fellowship of the Spirit on all the saints, let us commend ourselves and to one another and to the life of Christ our God. We pray in thanksgiving, for yours is the majesty, O Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. We continue on the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I hope you've enjoyed this prayer time for uh, us as we wind down our day uh, called Compline Prayer. Share it if you'd like with someone else and have them join us too as well at 9 p.m. every night. Uh, we'll be joining, I hope you can join me tomorrow morning uh, at 10 a.m. for our, our Sunday service at uh, Grace Episcopal Church. And if you would like, you're welcome to come to the church as well in person. Uh, we are in our, our second Sunday of having in-person services once again, if you are here in, great, it, in uh, Paducah, Kentucky, wherever you might be, remember that God loves you, and so do I. And I hope you have a wonderful sleep and are refreshed again for tomorrow morning. I'll, please join me as we once again gather again on uh, tomorrow and then next week, Tuesday at Noonday Prayer and for Compline Prayer right here again at 9 p.m. Have a wonderful sleep and sweet dreams. <laughs>